Hey. White Addy is Whoop. doing something. Hey. Tariq, be quiet. <laughs> that little creep. Tariq, so tough. Wow. Tariq. I was listening to uh, B1 Brigade, you know, Professor Black thought earlier. And uh, I've come up with more strategy. Okay, now, you know, I have my, uh, I just call it a boar hat, you know, because, you know, the boars down here in South Africa, you know, you have to, basically, let's just put, you have, I don't want to say the natives, but, but you have you, you have the Africans, right, be they, let me just leave the, the so-called the Indians, the, whatever they call the colors out of this, or, or lump them in with the Africans, whatever, right, then you had the English, and you had the Boers, okay? The Boers were like descendants of they, they have some Huguenots, you know, some French in them and some, some a lot of Holland in them and a bunch of other stuff. But they've been around for a while. You can always tell the Boers how they dress. And I had a, no, I have a Boer shirt. Okay, but here's the thing. The Boers, the Boers are kind of, the Boers are the Boers, okay? They're, they they isolate themselves. They do what they want. They're not even, I wouldn't even consider them white, I do consider them white supremacists, but not in the in the sense of white supremacists trying to, you know, they got their little thing and they try to keep their little thing. Let's put it that way. The people that's the worst, historically, is the English. First, they're always late to the party. Then when they come late, they mess things up, okay? So the English came down and it was over there at Stellenbosch University and created the whole apartheid system and tried to force on the boys. The boys said, oh, we ain't interested in that, but they the English kept on pushing. And they and of course, because it's white, and it came out the way it came out. Let's just put it that way, okay? But one of the things, to, to the whole, all, all the battles, the English and the boys, and, and then the, they, 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 they get together and they get to blah, 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 blah. After all that stuff, and they had the apartheid, da, 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 then they recruited some black people to, you know, to, to, to do the, to, to do, 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 you know, how whole thing. That's what the whole Gadessa one, you know, the whole, creating a black middle class. So they have, a, so the boys, not the boys, but the white supremacists would have a, a buffer, okay? In that situation. Now, look at this. Part of that, struggle, whatever. At the end of the thing, when they wanted to settle things, right, what they did, the English took the banking system, okay? <laughs> the Boers took the real estate, okay? Let me just make it simple. And they gave the black people, the, the natives, whatever it is, uh, they gave them the, um, uh, the politics and the social stuff, you know? You know, in other words, they got the land, the real estate, and they got the money, the economy, right? And we, or, you know, everybody else got the what they got. Okay. So now we look at it. They say, okay, you know, that's not enough just to give them that. Let's give them some uh, some psychological whatever. You know? So they create the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Okay? Now the Truth and Reconciliation Commission was having meetings all over wherever they have it at. And then, you know, people come to them and tell them all the sins of the of the, the, the white people, tell the sins of their fathers, whatever they, that they're doing. You know, that people how, how hard it was, whatever. Have it. Then you have Bishop Tutu crying with his rings and everybody crying. Here's my theory, but and of course that ended. They didn't, the Truth and Reconciliation Committee didn't go through all of South Africa and everybody's situations, okay? They ended it, right? I have a theory on why they ended it. They ended it because the people sitting on that panel, which wasn't representative of the populace of, of, of South Africa, they just, you know, some church officials and some whatever, 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 right? I think, and I gotta check this out, I gotta check out what's ended and find out what's going on. I think those commission people, they, it was too much for them. Psychologically, the people, the people went through was one thing, but the commission hearing what they went through, it was too much for them, and they couldn't take it. I say the same thing would happen in America. It would be too much if we had some sort of reconciliation committee. I don't even want that. You know, but, you know, going around and giving people's testimonies or just reading whatever happened, it would be too much for the society. They couldn't take it. They couldn't take it. But there needs to be, here's, here's where we come in. Remember I said we're in a season right now, but from now until, uh, I, I'm, 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 you can say the first, well, the first, uh, what do you call it, the first debates are coming up soon. Okay, for them. I say now until July 5th is when we hash things out, beat, beat, da, 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 like that. And then from July 5th, or July 4th, I should say, then from July 4th until, you know, the, our conference in, in October, then we have another concentrated thing what we do and then then we get our marching orders from from the conference on on we get our marching orders with this call I'm talking about ADOS now but here's the thing here's the thing Ooh, good tea got my moringa in here as usual gotta have moringa every day okay let hit that there has to be what we call a mea culpa I don't want a truthful reconciliation commission I want a mea culpa 
and everybody, doesn't matter who you are, black, white, indifferent, right? right, right you got to come with me a couple black friends. And like I said, I listened to, to the V1 Brigade, you know, uh, this morning, earlier. And one of the things that broke my heart, because, you know, everybody's doing research now, is that on that 94 crime bill that, that Biden is, is, you know, talking about, not only did he create, you know, was the progenitor of it, but now he's... He's like doubling down, saying, yeah, I would write. And guess what? I have a bunch of people on my side. I got my black preachers, got my black politicians on my side. One of those politicians was Cynthia McKinney. Whoa. You know, she was from Georgia, and she got unseated by some black lesbian because they turned on her and blah, 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 whatever, 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 whatever happened. But she signed on to that 94 uh, bill, too. Here's the plan I think should happen. All those people like those people, all the Hollywood people, everybody, all the celebrities, all the, they only say, you know something? We see what's going on. We hadn't studied our history before. Thank goodness for Yvette Carnell and Antonio Moore for opening eyes to this, Professor Doherty and his wife for opening our eyes to this stuff. Now we're doing our own research. And you know something? I'm going to make my make them sit I was wrong. I was wrong. And I apologize for that. And my, for my mea culpa, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from now on, I'm going to undo what, what was done. And we're putting putting the plug in. Well, she's not in office right now, but you know, other people. We're going to undo the Jim Clyburns, whatever. We're going to undo what was done. Blah 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 blah. Now they call this. I think they they call it a mea culpa. I always say that. And you know, I, I grew up in you know, I grew up in a Catholic church. You know, my sisters when they went to Catholic school. So I never. It's a Catholic term, mea culpa. You know, Latin or whatever have you. I never knew what that meant. You know. But I, but I'm, but I, so I got my trusty big dictionary, Collins dictionary, kind of the Mia, M-I-A, I guess that means me, right? So I looked it up. Here we go. Copa, 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 C-U-L, C-U-L, I had it on the page here. See, this is why they do the modern stuff and you just look into your device and, and look up words, uh, C-U-L-P. Oh, here, cope, cope, C U L C L culprit. So culprit, that's interesting. Uh, culprit, copa. Oh, right here, right here. Okay, copa. It's civil law, right? An act of neglect, fault, sin, guilt. Latin fault, fault. Oh. So there you go. Latin means fault, and that me means means mine. So it's my fault. Hey, my fault. So the Joe Biden, all those people that signed them bills, the politicians, the the, the preachers, if the back in that '94 era, whatever have you. I'm talking Clinton, the Clintons, all them people. They need to go and say, uh, our fault, my fault. I'm gonna undo. We need to undo what we did. Those laws that we that, that we put in place so that we can give the states a whole lot of money so they can lock up black folks and then we can we can just prey on black folks and then downtrodden folks. Well. Mia Copa, I'll fall. We got to undo that. Yeah, yeah, yeah so there's a debt due for reparations, so the, we're, we're working on that too. But first, we got to admit guilt and we got to start reversing what we did. This is not part of reparations. This is part of just our decency now. And because it's our fault, we were wrong, right? That's what has to happen. And like I said, the, the example can be those all those black people that fell in and, 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 and supported your, the, the, the Biden law, the Biden bill, right? That, that, that Bill Clinton pushed through, that the Clintons pushed through, and everybody's keep on saying, like, you know, especially the black people themselves, you know, I know Joe Biden. I know Joe Biden. You don't know Joe Biden. Did you know that Joe Biden put your children in jail that funded your, 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 that funded your states so they can put your children in jail, your men and your women in jail? Did you know that? You know Joe Biden now? Do you know that Joe Biden? Come on now. <laughs> Clyburn, you know, uh, Lewis, all the people. Uh, uh, we know Hillary. Did you know? Did you did you know that Hillary Clinton, the Clintons, did what they did to to to, to us, what they did to Haiti? Well, let's leave Juan and Africa out of it. And all these people trying to support Clinton. And what is it? Is Biden, Clinton, Obama? Now it's, it's supposed to be Clinton. That that didn't happen. Then it's trying to be Biden. So it's Biden, Clinton. Obama, Biden, that's the that's name. And what's the difference between that and like Nixon, Reagan, Bush, Bush, <laughs> Trump? What's the difference? They're, bra they're braided together. They're, 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 they're braided together. We need 
first of all, our own mea culpas, including our own family stuff and that stuff. Mea culpa. This is the mea culpa season. Mea culpa season. That have mea culpa. Me, I'm through. Me being T from Patterson's, technically trying to tip letting you know what I only suspect. At ADES of the ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery.